It's like a relationship, you know, between you and the machine. So I'm here with Lady Starlight and Banna Hoffer. Maybe to start with, if you'd like to give a little brief background of what got you into synthesizers to begin with and um, how long has that journey been for you and where you are now? The only reason I make techno is because of hardware synthesizers because I tr attempted to try start making music like on a computer and I was like, this is not connecting with me at all. I was like, ah, this is so boring and it was just didn't get it and it wasn't until I started using hardware that I'm like oh this is amazing this is so fun it was just not fun on the computer so for me it was just the hardware is what made the passion followed from the hardware much like you know it's an instrument so uh, connecting you know since I'm making techno uh, you know and around the time I started making it pretty much everybody was just using computers and uh, so if it wasn't for discovering hardware since, then I wouldn't be making techno at all. And then into modular, I think it's just kind of a natural progression. If you, once you hear like somebody playing a modular next to anything else that you might be doing, you're like, oh, is that what it's supposed to sound like? Okay, got it. It's like, it just blows like everything digital and everything just out of the way. And you're like, okay, well, that's basically what synthesis is supposed to sound like. <laughs> and it's a comparative thing where you're like, oh, okay, I guess that's what you need to do. <laughs> that, that is the truth. That is the truth. I mean, really, it's, you have it, to it kind of smokes it. other hardware, like in terms of the sheer power coming out of a modular, if you exactly. compare it to like a laptop or like a desktop synth, like it really, the just the output of, of a modular, because it's, it's 10 volts compared to like a line level instrument that's right. like three to five, like just the sheer just voltage that you're pushing through yep. a sound system is unlike anything else. Just mows, like yeah. totally yeah. just demolishes yeah. things in its path. <laughs> and once you get past a certain volume and you're playing in bigger spaces on bigger systems, it's just, you really, I mean, you've, you've used the modular in like big, big, big spaces, probably. Mm -hmm definitely bigger spaces than I have and, and like I, I wonder what your experience was like playing it at volume it's unbelievable and you hear how like when you have like a proper live venue there's actually it's problematic when you're playing in big yeah. clubs yeah. because actually the club sound system is tuned for highly compressed audio yeah so it it sounds much better in a huge live music venue and it's just like yeah. uh, it's actually amazing how uh, well, you have to be able to deal with, as you know, yeah. unpredictability of like, yeah. okay, well, today it's going to sound good. Yeah. Uh, now it's just sounding pretty shitty. Okay, yeah. well, that's the way it's going to sound. Let's yeah. go with that, I yeah. guess. <laughs> this is the, the vision. But yeah, it's just, it was my, like, just here. I played um, techno with Surgeon. Yeah. And we did a, a very bizarre, <laughs> confusing show with Lady Gaga who was one of my best friends but we did that in a huge arena in Birmingham and that was the first time I played next to somebody with a modular synth yeah. and that, that was the moment I was like okay wow uh, that's okay now I have to get a bunch of other gear because it was you really the comparative thing is really what it's all about standing yeah. next to somebody else playing and you're like Okay. Just, just in terms of how like overpowering just, ooh, yeah. the mod, yeah, how okay, felt yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah. the dynamics yeah. and how it just, yeah. oh, it was just yeah. unbelievable. Well, it's cool to hear your feedback because I haven't played in spaces that big, so so I can I can only imagine. But you're, I mean, yeah, it's the um, those types like a lot of clubs are tuned for exactly. highly compressed and audio when you have laptops. A band, there's a band playing, and yeah. it's like it just sounds amazing because yeah. all those frequency ranges are yeah. like accommodated for, and yeah. it's like. Oh, but no, I'm not playing in an arena at yeah. the moment. <laughs> I love I love the passion and the excitement behind your love for modular synths. It's a new world for me. Um, so it's really cool to just hear how you use them. And do you have a very like specific synth that you absolutely love, or do you have a few in my and that you use all the time as your go-to? Um. Well, I have I uh, like you were saying during your performance. It'll uh, I'll have like little setups that I use for a long time, and then kind of gradually kind of move to another. I'm I focus 
I'm always preparing for a live performance. So for me, my studio setup is actually kind of restricted because anything, I have this hang up about being able to recreate whatever I do in the studio live, which is a bit restricting. Yeah. I put it on myself. I'm trying to break out of that habit. So I'll generally have a very specific set of things, which is exactly the same thing that I take on the road with me. But now I'm sort of using some other stuff. I'm like, okay, this is a bit ridiculous to be like, oh, it's got to sound exactly like, like no, it does, why does it have to sound that way? But, you know, so um, right now, I love the, uh, I use to sequence everything, the uh, electron machine drum, which is one of the coldest, like least like character synths, but I use it as a sampler. So it's like these nasty, like 12 bit samples. That's how it records. So it sounds like I put other things into it and it's just, so I have this like kind of raunchy sounding 12 bit samples then with the, my Euro rack system. So it's kind of has a bit of everything. <laughs> I can, I can I can identify with the pressure of trying to recreate what you're doing in the studio live, and it's just on a if you're just using a modular, it's 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 kind of impossible. Like like it is it is doable, but you're you, but you'll drive yourself crazy in the process. Yeah. Especially again once you get past a certain volume and you're kind of hearing all these frequencies that you weren't hearing in your studio and the yeah, and you're like, Ooh. the reverberation <laughs> of the space and all these other factors and it's um, definitely a challenge and I, yeah. I, I definitely struggle with that as well, yeah. you know, like trying to trying to separate the live thing from the studio thing and kind of leave leave a buffer for experimentation live and kind of not 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 be so focused on making it sound exactly like it did in the studio because it's not going to happen. No, it's a battle. We and, can't you'll, win. and you'll just stress yourself <laughs> out and your synth is going to get pissed. Yeah. And it's just, it's, 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 gonna so, it's not going to end well. <laughs> your synth is going to get pissed. They do. They, they get yeah. pissed. Yeah. They're like, oh, no, I don't like the way you touched me there. Oh, the more you up. try and <laughs> control it and like enforce the sound on it, the more it rejects like, that. I don't think so. You have to show just my kind power. of like, you know, it's just like this kind of push and pull of like, control versus stuff. Yeah. And that's what makes it so fun because yeah. it's like you're trying to see, okay, yeah, it's like a relationship, you yeah. know, between you and the machine. Yeah. And I think that's really what uh, what audiences think respond yeah. to when you're doing a modular performance is that they kind of, even if they don't even know what you're doing, they still like see that. It's a human machine yeah. conversation happening. So and even it's not in a subconscious. Perfect. It's not perfect. Sometimes you'll get in these zones where it's like out of control and unwieldy and then you're just trying to like rein it in. Um, and then just like for the audience to hear that process of like the kind of it's like an elasticity of control. Um, I, I definitely like enjoy hearing yeah. that too, yeah. Really cool. I it's really interesting to hear like what got you into it and your challenges with it and I feel like in many ways some of those aspects are uh, can just transfer over to musicians in general but modern synth itself is um, I love how you talk about the relationship between human and machine for uh, newcomers to the synth world who are really interested because I think there's a lot of people who look at synthesizers especially modular synths and they're quite scared oh, yeah. and you know yeah. they don't they're like oh this is really serious there's a lot of things happening yeah. and what would your number one tip be for them uh i think that it's nobody kind of knows what they're doing when you, you first start you think that that there's nobody everybody approaches modular synthesis from a zero no matter how much experience you have with as a musician as you know using other synthesizers you're still like okay how does this work you know so it it shouldn't be an intimidating thing it should be a fun thing and anybody who pretends they know what like everything about modular synthesis is an absolute liar <laughs> we all know Agreed. nothing Agreed. <laughs> we're all learning yeah. every day we're all just responding to what's happening and you know you can have these forums and stuff like about, oh well, that's not the right way to do it it's like just ignore all that noise and just focus on what it sounds like to your ears and, and focus on your personal connection with it and don't get too caught in all the videos Patch and the hype and, and the new things yeah. and like just, you know, I don't I don't really watch any videos anymore and I, I just try and find my personal connection. And don't be intimidated by people explaining things to you that you don't understand. It's a lot of people explain very badly and it's not you. A lot of times it's the person explaining. Yeah. <laughs> so that's another thing that I learned. Like, you know, go and kind of experience the synth by yourself, read the manual or not, and 
Uh, just don't don't be intimidated uh, by um, all all of the hype. You can you can um, connect with this instrument regardless of your background. If you know nothing about music, or if you're an engineer, or if you, I mean, it's, there's no like you can you can enter from any point. That's a really great takeaway. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much, thank and I hope you enjoy. Yeah, hope you both enjoy the rest of your super booth. Oh yeah.